What's good? What's good, everybody? I am back. I'm a little under the weather. I know it's been a while, but today I'm going to come with another tutorial that is going to be super dope because it's going to help you out as a producer. Today's tutorial is how to tune your kicks and your basses. Now, I know a lot of you guys have sample packs of kicks and basses. <coughs> Sore throat, you know, summertime sickness stuff, kids. I got to deal with it. So most of you guys have these um, sample packs with kicks and basses. And a lot of times they don't line up with the actual keys on your keyboard. So they're basically out of tune. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to tune up your kicks and basses. And I'm going to show you how to tune your kicks and basses in the song so that you can get that high quality punch and bass in the song because if the kick and bass is actually tuned together in a song it'll actually sound better and it'll actually hit a little bit harder so let's go ahead and get a tutorial and I'll see you when we're done okay I got FL Studio pulled up here not really FL Studio user like that anymore but um, more of a Logic Slash NPC user but um, you guys asked for the tutorial so I'll try to give it to you to the best of my ability so today we're talking about tuning your bases so that they hit on the correct corresponding key on your keyboard. Um, let's say, for instance, right now, if I hit the FL keys, if you listen, I'm pressing C. But if I press the bass, this is how it sounds. And that's not right at all. So let's play it again. Play this. Totally different. So really, the C on this bass is actually. Let's play this one. So the C is actually E on here. So how are we going to get this in FL Studio to land on the C on our keyboard. It's fairly simple. If we know that the C is really E, we just need to go down how many steps. So we got one, two, three, four steps. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right here on the, uh, this right here is the root note, C5, which is basically a middle C. Um, so we have to go down four notes. So we'll go one, two, three, four, and we'll make this the new root note. So when we play the C now, now it is right. It's that simple. And then we could save this or whatever you want to do, but for time purposes, I'll let you guys figure that out. Now, the next thing is using this bass in context with a kick drum. Now, one thing I've learned from one of my good friends is if you have a kick that is correctly tuned with your bass, you will get a better overall sound and you won't have to mix things so much. That's why some of the best drummers, rock bands, jazz, basically anybody who does live instrumentation, they always make sure that their drums are tuned correctly. Let's look at this kick. As you see, I'm always pressing the higher, um, the higher keys because actually the higher keys to me um, actually gives me the right tone to actually read correctly. So, so right there, that's C. That's sounding like C to me. So if I press this C on here, and I press this, sounding more like a C. So let me go down a little bit. Do this again. And, uh -huh. Yeah. So actually the C on this kick drum, the C on this kick drum is actually E flat or D sharp. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to go down three notes since it's one, two, three. So we're going to go one, two, three. And then now, now we got the kick note in tune, the bass, and now, of course, the keys are already in tune. So I have a small pattern here. I'm going to play it. I'm going to do a few bass notes with it, and I'm going to put the kick in with it as well, and everything will be in tune, and you will hear the difference um, on how much better it sounds, how, how good the kick shines through with the bass, because now you don't have clashing notes when um, making your tracks. So let's go ahead and add a bass to it real quick. So in this key right here, I did a did this in what key did I play this in? Okay, I played this in a E minor. Okay, an E minor scale on here. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna play some bass notes. I'm gonna add in a kick after it. Do a countdown. All right, so let's go ahead and add the bass to it. So now let's go ahead and add the kick. So since we know that it's in an E flat um, minor scale, we know that the kick is going to be right here. So let's go ahead and add that in there. that easy as you can see the kick the bass and the keys are all in tune and it's just that little bit right there makes a huge difference okay there it is we tuned our kicks and basses and I showed you how it sounds in a song when it is tuned correctly so if you like this tutorial please like please subscribe Please comment. Please let me know how I'm doing. And I will come back with another tutorial in the future. All right. God bless. See you later.